I want to say from the family that we are six brothers and I'm the eldest. He's number four. So we have six brothers. We are not in, in politics and we don't expect to be in politics. So what's important is I want to ask some questions. I want to, I want to ask some questions. Number one, if you are in government, what are you afraid of an individual whom you can monitor 24 7? What are you afraid of? And why are you taking somebody and then denying it? So is lying a good idea? And think about Allah and think about end of life. Nobody survives at all throughout the universe. Everybody, Kulluman Ali Hafan, Allah says, everybody must go. Every month everything must be destroyed. So if you think that you will stay forever by lying and by kidnapping, then you are wrong. You, you learn from history. We are not threat to you. We have never been threat to you. An individual, my brother or Arman, an excellent personality, a very gentle personality I have met. They, these people that I know, they are all excellent people. What are you afraid of? Why are you lying about taking them and then denying them? And then for six years, you are causing suffering to the family. Do you think that the curse of the family will not fall upon you and Allah is not watching you and that you will not die and be accountable to Allah? I leave it. We have made case against all oppressors of the world to Allah and we leave it to Allah's judgment and Allah's timing to hit. If people do not learn, Allah will teach them a lesson that others will learn as well as the person. So don't be don't be declaring war on Allah. Because what everybody, all oppressors are doing are declaring war on Allah. And you will never, never win. May Allah help us and guide us so that we come to senses and not get mad with power. And then for a temporary period, we oppress others. We have to do justice, and justice is the is the core issue for all of us. May Allah guide you or curse you. If you are not guided, may Allah curse you. Amen. Another person who was working with Brigadier Azmi, Advocate Chaudhary Amin, he was working with Brigadier Azmi because Brigadier Azmi's case is something different because the the people who are behind this scenario. That is General Tariq Siddiq, Brigadier Jia, and some other culprits. So those people are from Bangladesh Army. They already indoctrinated Bangladesh Army. The army already contributed whole world to peace, stability, and democracy. But the same group, the same same force, is doing the opposite in Bangladesh. Already United Peacekeeping Force, United Nations. All the powers they have concerned about this scenario, and they already United Nations Human Rights Commissioner already engaged Bangladesh government that to all the people who are working in UN peacekeeping force they need to be scrutinized because for some people, for some of the culprits of Sheikh Hasina, the whole army is indoctrinated, and whole army as well as whole Bangladesh is under question in the world of high. Chaudhary Amin expresses solidarity and he will express his some experience which was happened with Brigadier Azmi after and before. Within few minutes, two minutes. I'm requesting all the speakers, maximum one minute or one and a half. Please finish your speech. Chaudhary Amin. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear brothers, you know, Brigadier General Azmi, he was one of the, one of the brilliant officers in Bangladesh Army's history. In 5th BMA long course, he found sort of honor and gold medal. He was not involved with politics. He served Bangladesh Army about 32 years with dignity and integrity and with discipline. But only he was the son of Professor Gurma Jom, ex amir of Bangladesh Jamaat Islami, nothing else. In 2016, 22nd August, he was, he had been forced to disappearance from his house in front of our eyes. He was blind, 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 blind and he was taken by GGF5 and GB combined leave. And from then, he, he has been taken under GGF5. He is under the custody of GGF5. Dear brothers and dear parliament members, British parliament members, we want to show that I myself had been arrested in the, after four days of his arrest in the link, link with Brigadier Azmi, dear, dear parliament members, British parliament and human
rights leaders and human rights activists, we want to show that he was definitely not involved with politics. He was a brilliant officer. It is his wrong. My dear brothers, we want to say that from 2016, he had been he had been prisoned under the DGFI. Lieutenant Colonel Hasli Rahman Bir Putik, one of the brilliant, another brilliant officer of Bangladesh Army, he clearly and unambiguously said that he has seen Brigadier Asmi in so called Ainakor under DGFI custody. We want to send his brother, Mahmoud Asmi, sir. He is present here with all of his brothers. They all are not connected with any anti government activities in here in UK and also in Bangladesh. So, why he will be in prison in Bangladesh, his, his, his children, his daughters, and his son, they are waiting to free Brigadier Asmi. His brothers, they are always waiting when he will come back to us. So I urge to the government of Bangladesh and to the Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina to free Brigadier Asmi. He will not do any harm. We can give and surety. His brother, elder brother is present here. He, he can give you a surety. He will not do any harm. Please. Free, free, please, free, Brigadier Asmi as soon as early as possible. His daughter, his children, his daughters, his children, his son, his wife, and his brothers, and all of our good wishes. We are all waiting for Brigadier Asmi. Please, free, Brigadier.